having a boat ramp just touch water. It sounds simple, but nothing is really in relation to the weather in California. The last time I was here at Lake Orville, the water was not even close to the end of this boat ramp. It was hundreds of yards away off into the distance. This ended in just a cliff and a lot of dry ground. But while this is a great sign, the water level in Lake Orville still has a long ways to go. You can see there's a completely other boat ramp, still high and dry, but this water is creeping up. California's second largest reservoir is now 65% full. Since its lowest point in 2021, the lake has risen a dramatic 182 feet. Nine atmospheric river or pineapple express or whatever you want to call them, storms, created this transformation. During the week that began on January 9th, the raging storms that soaked California sent 360,000 acre feet of water into Orville. That's the equivalent of dumping in all of San Francisco's main water supply into just Lake Orville. Sounds like something to be optimistic about, but you really need to be a realist in California. So when we think about drought and when we think about, you know, does this big, um, does our big January actually bust the drought in California? It's too soon to tell. Um, and we need to take the lessons of uh, the most recent couple of years in which we've seen that uh, peak snowpack date change, in which we've seen runoff conditions um, drop off uh, dramatically, in which we've seen um, storm conditions shut down and then be followed by excessive uh, dry periods, again, during what we traditionally know as the wettest periods in California. Don't let the name Atmospheric River fool you. It's not just about the coastal flooding here in California. In the Sierra, we're getting slammed with snow. The only way I can describe the sensation of trying to get around here in Soda Springs near Donner Pass is kind of like being a rat in a maze. You're just locked in on all sides by a wall of snow, no matter which road you turn down, there's just large cuts. This is actually a great sign because this, all this white stuff is as good as gold for the Golden State in California. This is the water storage for California. Most of the state gets its water from this snowfall. Eventually it'll melt, go down into the reservoirs, and then is distributed to tens of millions of Californians. To fill completely to the top, Oroville would have to rise another 90 feet. Believe it or not, the lake has done that seven times so far this century. As recently as February of 2017, it actually went too far. Storms collapsing the dam's spillway, a really close catastrophe. Afterwards, California commenced on a billion dollar project to reinforce the dam, spillway, and emergency spillway. There's enough new concrete in the spillway alone to build a sidewalk from Oroville, California to Amarillo, Texas. Our survey today, we recorded a snow depth of 80, 85.5 inches and a snow water content of 33.5. With snowpack sitting at 206% of its historical average, as it begins to melt, the reservoir will rise. Even if another flake doesn't fall this year, California is in a much better drought situation than it has been the last two years.